afternoon. Welcome to the memorial service for the Thai. Before we begin our service, uh, we wanted to show you a slideshow uh, of pictures chosen by Thai's family, as well as uh, including uh, some of Thai's favorite songs. And so uh, please, as, as the slideshow goes on, um, can we have a heart and mind to remember the memory of Thai? So if we could turn off the lights and play the slideshow, thank you. Okay, dance with them. Friendly host, 
We communicate by more or more or more or How will you speak to that?
climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I broken. Cause I need you to My sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping. I dreamt I held you in my arms When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken So I hung my head and cried You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray Never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Would you pray with me? Father God, we thank you for Ty. We thank you for his life. We thank you for his smile, for the love that he had for his friends and his family. God, I pray that as he is in your arms right now, that as he is with you in heaven, Father, that you would embrace him. And Father, that as we are here mourning and grieving the loss of Ty, I pray that you would comfort us. God, I pray that this day would be a day where we celebrate his life, that we are thankful for the time that we had with him, that we are thankful for the privilege we had to be a part of his life. Father, I pray this day would honor him. I pray this day would celebrate what a great young man he was. Continue to watch over us. We love you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time, we're going to sing a hymn. And you can remain seated as we sing. But it's a hymn that I hope many of you know. But if you do not know the lyrics... They will be on the screen behind me. Thank you. 
is good to me his word my hope secures he will my shield and portion be as long as life endures the earth shall soon dissolve like smoke the sun forbear to shine but God Now I'm going to be reading from Scripture for us this day. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. And please, you can just listen to the word of the Lord. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in our affliction so that we may be, to, we may be able to comfort those who aren't in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. Welcome to Ty's Church. Uh, This was the church that Ty, Ty came about two years ago, and I'll always remember that first time one of our members uh, brought him into our community, and, and he, he came, and I, w- I was kind of just wondering. You know, he's, he's a, a young kid. He was like eight years old at the time, and uh, I thought to myself, oh, you know, it's nice that, um, you know, June brought him to church, uh, and, and I, I hoped he would have a good time at our church and, and have fun playing around. But kind of knowing how kids are, I kind of expected uh, Ty to, to stop coming just because what kid likes church? <laughs> what kid likes going to church? But amazingly, Ty came every single Sunday. And he was always smiling. He always had that, that big grin on his face. He came to all the events. He came every Sunday and he... He wanted to be the last one to leave. He wouldn't want to leave church. That's my memory of Ty, of a young man who, who loved people, who, who, loved, who loved being around people. He was my comfort. He made it easier for me to understand why we gathered on Sundays. Today we are gathered because of Ty, but really we're gathered to celebrate his life. We're here to celebrate the impact he's had on every single one of us, whether big or small, that this young man, this boy, showed love to each and every one of us. And it's in that love that I believe that we experience God's love for us. And not all of us go to church, not all of us believe, but I believe that there is a place called heaven. And whether you believe in heaven or not, I truly and firmly believe in this place called heaven where God resides, and I can firmly stand here today and let you know that Ty is in heaven, and that he is with the Lord, 
that he is with his heavenly Father being embraced by him. That Ty, right now, at this very moment, is in the arms of the Almighty and living God. Because as Ty came to church, Ty being the energetic, enthusiastic, and happy young man he was, he, gained to, he, he came to know the Lord. He came to know who Jesus was. He came to know that God was not angry at him. God was not mad at him. God was not looking to punish him, but that God loved him. And in my conversations with Ty, asking him about what he thought about God and what he thought about Jesus, I know without a shadow of doubt that Ty knew that God loved him. And Ty was good about showing that love, that same love to those around him. In many ways, as we reflect over the life of this young man, I do not want us to forget Ty's love. I do not want us to forget the memories we have of Ty. It is of critical importance that as painful as it may be, as hard as it, as it may be, that we remember Ty in his life. That we honor the memory of this young man by remembering what joy he brought to us all. Of course, it is hard and it is difficult. Of course, we are all in anguish. We are all hurting. That we are suffering. But the word of God explains to us That in our affliction, that God himself understands our affliction as we see it through Christ on the cross. And again, I understand that many of us don't believe in Jesus and don't believe in, in the things that he has done. But I'm here to share with you that we believe in a God, I believe in a God who understands affliction and suffering. That he understands it because he bore it for us on the cross. And that was his display of love unto us. And that it's through the power of Christ that we believe in eternal life. When I tell you that I believe in heaven, and I tell you that I know, not just believe, that I know that Ty is in heaven with his heavenly father, that life does not end here on this earth, but life is but a shadow of what is to come with our Father in heaven forever and ever. And so yes, today is a day that we will remember Ty, we will celebrate his life, but I pray that you would also remember Ty's love and the love that God had for his son. As we continue our service, I leave you with this. In our affliction and in our suffering, we are called to help others in their affliction and their suffering. Knowing Ty and knowing how happy he was and how joyful he was about life, I know that he would want all of us to continue living life with joy and with happiness. That he would want us to love one another. That he would want us to have fun. I pray that as we continue our lives in memory of this young man, I pray that we would continue to love one another fiercely. That we would love one another deeply and that we would do it in a way that would be pleasing unto the Lord. Let's pray. Father, I pray that as you are embracing Ty, your son, that as he is with you in heaven, that as we believe that he has been saved by the power of Jesus, 
Father, I pray that we would all be remembering of Ty and his life and the love that you have for him. Father, I pray that today would be a celebration of his life and that, God, we would go out from this sanctuary, from this service with hope and with joy, knowing that you are still good. Father, I pray that as we all process and as we all mourn and grieve, that you would bring us comfort in how you have promised us comfort. We thank you. We love you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time, I'm going to invite Jing, Tai's mother, to come and say a few words. I would like to begin <clears throat> by thanking everyone for being here and for your support. As you know, my name is Jing, I'm Tai's mother, and I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you the memories I hold of my son. There's so much truth to the words that nothing is more heartbreaking for a mother than losing, <laughs> losing her child. I'm sure no one here ever thought that we would be saying goodbye to Ty like this. He was so full of life and all of the promise of things to come, the things we talked about wanting to do, building robots, being a YouTuber, playing video games with his friends, those sparkling, ambitious dreams all young children have. His future was in an open book waiting to be read, a story I so treasured and looked forward to being a part of. No one, especially Anne, I thought we would be making this end of his, the end of his life that had hardly even started. But here we are. We all are saying farewell to my beautiful little boy, Ty, long before his time. Although Ty was only with us for a short period of time, he touched the lives of so many people, young and old. Super Happy Ty was the name he wrote on his homework as his name. After school, he would ask me, to bring his favorite stuffed animal, Sir Mielsalot, so, so he could read to him on his ride home. He saved Pokemon stuffed animals and toys for his sister when he found out he was going to be a big brother, even before she was born. And would sing and read to her every day when he was with her. I'm gonna finish for Jing. We all wanted to see Ty's life unfold and watch him grow up to see the promise building in that young man. Today we are here to celebrate Ty, to remember and honor him. On February 5th, 2009, Ty was born in a city named Chengdu in China. The closeness of the community there where neighbors always helped each other was something that Ty really enjoyed. He made so many little friends, some of which he had a chance to go back and see after moving to the US when he was a year and a half. Ty loved to say hi to others as early as he could talk. 
He never understood thoroughly how not to talk to strangers. He was so loved and surrounded by many families and friends. He attended daycare when he was 18 months old until he was old enough to attend preschool at Morningside Academy in Port St. Lucie, Florida, where he learned about Christianity and Bible verses. Ty became very close with Aunt Sue, whom he called Juju. Goo goo. Goo goo. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably was his Juju. <laughs> And she was like a third parent for him while he lived in Florida. Ty met my husband, Doug, in 2015 and has lots of new adventures since. Ty's favorite amusement park was Universal Orlando, where he met his superhero, Spider-Man, and enjoyed the wizarding wizard of Harry Potter the most. He watched all the Harry Potter movies multiple times and had me buy him the gr Gryffindor, Gryffindor. <laughs> costume <laughs> to wear on hiking trips. And of course, he never forgot the mark, the lightning scar, with a pen on his forehead, just like Harry Potter. Ty loved camping trips with Doug and I, and he never minded getting dirty and would do his best to help out with collecting firewood and building a fire. He really wanted to catch a fish when we lived in Florida and still asked me to teach him how to fish after we moved here. Ty had many pets in his life. His first dog was named... Go-Go. Go-Go. Yes. And she was a great companion when Ty was younger. Ty loved learning the responsibilities of having different pets. He had two cats. He named Happy and Sprinkles and insisted on taking them everywhere, including on a road trip to Tennessee, as they would even join us on hiking trips. Sprinkles and I would pick up Ty from school on several occasions, and Ty would read books to her on the way home. Ty also had hamsters, a mouse, and a fish. Ty asked me to get him more cats and dogs, but I told him we couldn't make the house a zoo. So Ty loved to play with Legos. He would open the packages of the expensive Lego sets and would rather use his imagination and play for hours rather than follow the instruction book. He called himself a master builder. Ty was a very sociable kid. He would ask me to leave the school five minutes early so he could catch the high schoolers at the bus stop and yell out my window to say hi to them. He liked doing this so much that one day when we missed them, he was so upset, actually crying, until he saw another group and was so happy to yell out hi Ty always talked a lot about his friends from school, especially those who played similar video games to him, or as him. His favorite video game was Minecraft. Although he never liked schoolwork much, he would beg me to buy him Diary of a Minecraft Zombie, the book series, and he would read for hours. Ty always tried to, snug to snuggle his, to smuggle his boy, his, I'm sorry, Hold on. <laughs> Ty would always try to smuggle his toys into school and trade with his friends. Searching his pockets for hidden toys quickly became part of our morning routine before school. He learned fast, though, and started hiding the toys in his shoes. <laughs> Ty loved learning new things. He was really excited when Grandpa offered to teach him how to play chess and set up the chessboard. Ty has touched so many people's lives in this community. Jing wants everyone to remember his silliness and his goofiness, because this is what Ty was, and this is what we all want him to be remembered as. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody, for coming.
And now I'll invite Katie, Ty's art teacher, to come and say a few words. When I met Ty at Acres Green Elementary, I knew it would take a while to get to know him, to gain his trust, and to grow a relationship with him. I'd check in with him often in art class to see how he was doing or if he had any questions. Each day of knowing Ty was a gift because I got a closer glimpse at an amazing kid. Ty, I saw so much potential in you. I know that our kids love you, and I am glad that you, they could become a family for you at school. I would watch Ty at recess meet new friends, and I would wish him a good night when he left school and he was at my crossing duty area. I'm not sure what kind of impact I had on Ty, but I hope he knew how much I loved him and how much this school loved him. Ty, your story was not supposed to end this soon. I wish you everlasting peace, and please know you will always be in my heart. Thank you. Now I invite Clint, Ty's martial arts instructor, to come and say a few words. I've been uh, fasting and praying to know what I might be able to say today. Uh, I met Ty not too long ago, and it was very clear when we first met him that he was very physically talented, um, but more than that, he was very mentally focused, and uh, he, he had equal matches of silliness and focus and would come onto the mat and worked extremely hard, and he set a great example for his teammates. He was always on the mat looking for ways that he could help others to learn the skills that were necessary to uh, help them to advance and to grow. And today is kind of a special day because today we had our belt testing. And what's special about today is that uh, two months ago, when Ty last tested for his belt, he did not pass that test. He uh, received a goal incomplete, and it was up to him to try again. And uh, you can learn a lot about your students when they receive a no change at a test like that. For you to be able to tell him, listen, it wasn't good enough. You've got to do it again. But Ty was always up for a challenge. He was always willing to push himself harder. And he always did it with a smile. And it was impressive to see him get back on the mat, see that determination in him, but also see how it would spread to the other students in class. All of the other instructors and I, whenever Ty would walk in, we'd get a little excited. We'd say, this is going to be a good class because of the influence he had on the mat with all of his teammates. Now, we see all of our students with a very long telescope. Uh, we tell them that when they first come in, we, we don't look at them as the next belt or the next belt. We look at them 20 years down the line at a, as a fifth degree master, as, a, as somebody in their community who makes a huge difference and a huge impact on the world. In fact, that's our whole goal is that we get to transform the world. And Ty was doing that early on. Now, the telescope that we saw for Ty I wouldn't say that he's gone out of view, but he's maybe gone farther than we thought possible. And now he resides in a place reserved for the very best of Heavenly Father's children. We will miss him, but we'll remember his kindness, his dedication to hard work. And I look forward to seeing him beyond the veil, when perhaps he'll have a few more things to teach me. Often we have the challenge that we, we think to ourselves, why? I don't have an answer for that. I think few of us do. What I do have is I have a few things that I know. I know that God loves his children. I know that Jesus Christ is our savior. I know that he lives and he loves us. I know that he's with Ty. 
And I know that Ty wants us to continue to grow and continue to strive and to transform our lives just as he was doing that for us. Jean, thank you for sharing your son with us. It meant everything. Thank you. And now I would like to invite Ashley, Ty's babysitter, to come and say a few words. Good afternoon, everybody. So there are many things that I could say about Ty, because I got to see his struggle with his mother. I got to see his struggle with trying to love his father without seeing him as a bad guy. He loved both of them dearly. And for me, because I was stepping into a situation where he had to figure out whether I was on his mom's side or his dad's side or his side, I made it very clear to him very early on that his behaviors towards me was not because I saw him as a bad kid. It was not because I saw his parents as bad people. It's because I saw a child who needed somebody to not give up on him. He just wanted to share his love with everybody. And so while I was thinking about all of the different things that I could share, I decided instead to write a poem in his honor. I had it memorized, but because of my emotions and how close we got in the short amount of time I knew him, I'm just going to uh, look at the notes that I wrote. <laughs> Today, we gather to honor your life. It wasn't your fault nor your choice to leave this way too soon. But I'll do my best to show how I know you as. Energetic, enigmatic, and enthusiastic barely explains the kind of extraordinary person you are. Real, randomly rambunctious, and radiant are why you will continue to help others rise now. In the middle, but intentionally loving and fiercely independent. Understanding how to connect to others despite this undeserved outcome. So many times you made life better with your smiles and your silliness. Learning from you changed my life. The day you left, a part of my soul left too. Everyone here is connected through your life. Struggles, stories, and souls grieving together. One innocent child. Regrets fuel the desire for change. Investigations for answers to save others just as you would want to do. Even though our time was brief, your impact lives on. Remembering your life is a privilege. On your life, you continue to live through the stories that we tell, and I know I'll keep telling my part. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Trisha family, friend, to say a few words. I, kn I knew Ty from his laughter, and he would just giggle all the time. And even when things weren't funny, he was the one giggling. I wanted to read a poem that I wrote for him. It's called Justice for Ty. God gave you wings to fly high in the sky. You met your glory, and your wings took you soaring knowing it was time for you to soar high. The angels carried you away in the sky before any tears left your eyes. Mm -hmm. I have to believe God shed you from pain 
and took you to a new life with blessings to gain. Not what you asked for, nor what you deserved. Being drugged through the system, not a voice heard. The system failed you, there were so many clues. If only they would have listened to you. They would have listened and changed your fate. Now you're walking through the golden gate. Why didn't they listen to the cries for help? Another child gone, it's so awfully wrong. All the signs were there, just doesn't seem fair to serve and protect. No justice was served. Your life will be so sadly missed, but we promise you this, everyone will remember you, Ty. We will fight for hope and a future for those abused and forgotten just like you. Your legacy will live on in this life and free kids of abuse. Ty, we love you and words can't express how deeply your life will surely be missed. Justice for all making us stand. Justice for Ty, we shall stand. We will stand in the making of reforms and new laws for this child should have lived free, his voice should have been heard. Never forgotten as we push through, we will fight with everything we have just for you. Dance with the angels and remember today, we will stand for you. The abuse and violence will stop all in your name, remembering you always, we love you, Ty. Before I give the benediction, would you all bow your heads with me in a moment of silence for Ty? And would you pray? Would you pray with me after? Gracious Father, receive your Son. Thank you that we are assured of his salvation, that we are assured of his eternal life through the power of Christ. We thank you that he loved you. We thank you that he loved his family and he loved his friends. And that, Lord, that we experience your love through Ty. We experience your comfort and your grace your mercy through the life of this young man. Father, I pray that as we remember and celebrate his life this day, Lord, would you comfort us? Would you give us hope? Hope that this life does not end here on this earth, but that there is a life to come. Father, we pray that there would be continual, continual love for Ty's family, that we would support them in their future endeavors, that you would be with them, you would comfort them and raise them up, Lord, to be stronger, to love you, and to love one another. Father, I pray that as we all mourn and grieve, Lord, would you meet us, would you speak to us, would you embrace us. Father, as we remember Ty and his life, his joy, his laughter, his goofiness, his silliness. Father, would it lead us, would it lead us to joy and happiness and just that we would be thankful for the privilege we had and we have of knowing him and having a relationship with him. Father, I pray, I pray, Lord, that you would show your justice you would show your mercy. You would show your grace on this world. That you would receive Ty this day in open arms. And you would hold him tight for us. And that one day we would all see him again. We love you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And at this time I'm going to invite... Ty's family to pay their respects to the memory of Ty.
And now at this time, for all of us as the friends and family of Thai, um, if we would come down this right side and, and form a line, um, but please take your time remembering Thai, and please give your condolences to the family, and then please exit through the left side, and we'll meet downstairs for re uh, reception, um, a time to, to fellowship and to eat, and just be in remembrance of our brother. So at this time, I would invite the front rows to come down and start forming that line down on the right side for us to give our respects.